In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with pyramids. In example A, it says find the slant height of the square pyramid. Now the slant height of a pyramid is the height of one of the triangular faces. So it would be this length right here. Now if it's not given to you, to figure out the slant height, you'll often have to use the Pythagorean theorem. Notice that we have this right triangle that's drawn in here that's sort of standing straight up inside the pyramid and that right triangle will help us to figure out the slant height because the slant height is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So we know that this distance right here is 24. We know that this full length is 16, which means halfway right to the center must be eight. So the triangle that we're really looking at has legs that are 8 and 24, and we're trying to figure out C, the hypotenuse. That will be the slant height. So to do that, we will do 8 squared plus 24 squared equals C squared. So we get 64 plus 576 equals C squared, which means that 640 equals C squared. So C is approximately... 25.3. So that means that the slant height, because that's what we were solving for, is approximately 25.3 units. And you'd want the slant height if you were trying to figure out the surface area of the pyramid, because you'd need to know the height of the triangle to find the area of the triangle in order to find the area of all the faces for the surface area. All right, in example B, it actually says to find the surface area of the pyramid from example A. So we'll go back here and work on figuring out the surface area. So to find the surface area, we need the area of all five faces. So notice there's a square face on the bottom and then four triangles along the sides, the lateral faces. So our surface area will be the area of all of those added up. And all the triangles will be congruent because this is a square pyramid, so they will all have the same base. And it's regular, so they'll have the same height. So we really only have to figure out two different areas. We want the area of the square. And then we'll need to do 4 times the area of the triangle because there are 4 triangles. So the square right on the bottom has dimension 16 by 16. So the area of the square will be 16 times 16. For the triangle, we know that its base, so this side right here is 16, and its height is what we just figured out, the slant height. So since the area of, the tri of any triangle is base times height divided by two, that's what we'll have to do here. 16 times 25.3 and then divided by two. So now we just need to really calculate this all out. 16 times 16 is 256. And then to do the other part, when we multiply 16 times 25.3 and then divide by two and then multiply by four, we end up with 809.6. So then we add those up and we get our final answer that the surface area equals 1065.6 units squared. Remember, surface area is always in units squared. All right, and let's look at example C. Find the volume of the pyramid. So the volume of a pyramid is the area of the base, which in this case is a square multiplied by the height, which is the actual straight perpendicular height from the apex down to the center of the square, and then divided by three. If we didn't divide by three, we'd be finding the volume of the prism, the square-based prism, that was this whole thing. So the pyramid is a third the volume of the prism. So because the base is a square, the area of the base is just 12 times 12, or 144 units squared. So that's the area of the base. The height also happens to be 12. 
So that's our height, and then we'll divide by 3. And our final answer is 576 units cubed. And remember, volume is always in units cubed because we're thinking about how many little unit cubes would it take to fill up the whole pyramid.